To understand any synth really well, it is important to know its signal flow. That is how the signal flows through its various components. Massive is not a modular synth, so the signal flow stays the same in most circumstances, but there are some modular aspects of this synth, specifically relating to the inserts, the feedback module, and the bypass signal. This routing page shows the signal flow in Massive, so let's see what's going on in here. On the left are the sound generators, the three main oscillators, the noise oscillator, and the feedback module. Next are the various bypass slots. Keep in mind the bypass can only be activated on one of these slots, so you see the semi-modularity of Massive here. Next is a crossfader, which allows the signal to be sent to either of the two filters. If you look really carefully, the upper line from all the five crossfaders sends the signal to filter one, and the lower line from all the crossfaders send the signal to filter two. These crossfaders in the routing page represent the crossfaders here. Okay, next are the two inserts, which can be positioned on the filter one signal path or filter two. Here again, we see the semi-modular aspect of Massive. Keep in mind the inserts can be placed on both signal paths. In fact, if you enable one of the inserts here, it will not be enabled on the other possible places in the signal path. Now, as you probably already know, the filters can be set in two possible configurations, serial and parallel. In serial, the signal enters filter one and the signal from filter one goes into filter two. Hence, you see the crossfader here. This crossfader represents this crossfader over here. So the other way to configure the filter is in parallel, where both the filters are receiving the signal, which is already happening here. Now the inserts can also be placed after the filter, and sonically this can make a lot of difference, especially when creating wobble bass sounds. So the inserts can be placed after filter one, or after filter two. Let's skip this middle one just for a moment. Next is the feedback module. As the name suggests, the feedback module takes the signal and feeds it back into the signal flow. But what exactly does it feed back? That is defined by the FB icons in this routing page. If enabled here, whatever signal is coming in up to this point will be fed back into the signal flow by the feedback module. If you don't see that blue line coming out of the module, make sure the feedback module is on. Now what if you don't want the insert effects to be a part of the feedback, but you still want it to be after filter one? You can enable it over here. Another thing to note is that both the insert modules cannot be enabled in the same position. Though in a way you can. If you ignore the feedback module here, I can enable insert one here and insert two here. They're both placed immediately after filter one. But you can't do this anywhere else. Now getting back to the feedback module, it can be placed here. So the signal that is coming out of the filter two module will now be fed back into the signal path via the feedback module. You will also notice the inserts can be placed after the feedback modules over here. Next in the signal flow are the two faders, which represent these two faders, which is then mixed in into the mix one, two cross fader. The inserts and feedback can be placed here after the mix one, two cross fader. Then comes the amp pan module. Then again, the feedback module can receive the signal from here. Next comes FX1, FX2, EQ, and the master. Now we already know that the bypass signal can be taken from any of the oscillators, but it does not have to be completely bypassed. It can be routed to FX1 onwards, FX2 onwards, or the EQ onwards. This yellow line represents the bypass signal flow. If you don't see the yellow line, make sure the bypass module is on. So that's how the signal flows in Massive. I would recommend watching this video again if it didn't quite make sense yet. And don't worry, it seems intimidating, but you'll get the hang of it very soon. I'll come back to this page on and off throughout this tutorial, so it will definitely make sense eventually. In the next video, we'll take a look at the oscillators.